Hey y'all, before we get into this video, I want to say my Big Chop video is up. She is live. Click the cards right here to see it. I'm 100% natural. And this video that I'm showing you is going to be me pretty much cleaning up the cut from my Big Chop. Now, after I washed and conditioned my hair after the Big Chop, I just sectioned it off into six braids and I let it dry. This is probably day three or four. Yes, day three or four. I'm pulling my braids apart now. Of course, my hair is fully dry. I'm finger detangling while I pull it apart, just so that when it comes time to put the comb through it, it's a little bit easier on me. Also, there is no product in my hair, no leave-in, no oil, absolutely nothing at the moment. I always feel like I work better when my hair is sectioned off nicely. I've given myself four little sections. And I'm going to start in the back once they're all clipped up. Now this is how my ends look. They look so sad and fragile like they are just over it and I am sad for them because it really hurts getting through my hair with the comb my fingers doesn't matter how much conditioner or what is in my hair these little knots at the end I believe they're called single strand knots but I haven't really looked into that much to know for sure but they are stressed out now I'm taking some water heat protecting and my new handleless blow dryer from Amazon I love this thing. All three links will be down below. I'm going to be using the big comb attachment. I believe it was the big one. And uh, first things first, of course, wet my hair so I can apply the heat protectant and so that I can better comb through the hair. I always like adding product when my hair is wet. Um, at the time when I washed it conditioned, I wasn't sure what I was going to be doing afterwards, so that's why I didn't add it then. So I'm taking some heat protector now. I don't think I should have used this. Uh, I don't think my hair was saturated enough to use it, so it did kind of weigh it down. Now, I knew I wasn't going to be wearing my hair out, so it didn't really matter, but I don't know. I just didn't like the way it made my hair feel after I flat ironed it. I'm just running the heat up and down the hair shaft before I go into it with the comb. I definitely need that comb on my ends because if not, everything else would be pretty straight and the ends would just be roughed up. I started out with low heat and then towards the ends I did use high heat. And you see how my ends look? They are just really not having it. I love my hair but dealing with the ends make me so frustrated but I'm going to take my Kaposi flat iron, which you've seen me use a bunch of times. If you haven't, that'll be linked down below as well. Best flat iron on Amazon and it's affordable. I section my hair off into small little parts. The smaller, the better. I did get kind of lazy toward the top and start taking bigger sections, which didn't turn out that well because I had to go over them multiple times to get the end straight. I 
I have really been loving my hair after I got rid of the ends. Uh, I'm not sure if I said this, but a week or so after I did cut them in this specific video, uh, they were right back. So I had to really figure it out, work on it. But I found something that actually really worked good and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. If you have any natural hair video recommendations for me, leave them in the comment section down below. So far, I know someone said a wash and go, so I'm going to be working on that. I don't remember exactly what heat the flat iron was on, but I believe it was 390. I like this blow dryer. The only thing I don't like is my hands were kind of slippery from the heat protectant, so it was a little bit hard to hold on to. But I also think it'll be a lot easier to use if you used it on someone else's hair or if your hair is longer than mine. It works pretty good. I was going to do a review on it when I first got it, but I realized it was super old, so I didn't think anyone would be interested. But if you're looking for a handless, handleless blow dryer, click the link down below and look into that one on Amazon. I tried not to go over my hair too many times. During my big chop, I did just cut the hair. I was just ready for it to go, which is why some pieces are super short. So once my hair is completely flat iron, it's pretty stiff, not really moving that much, but it doesn't matter because we're not putting it down, we're not keeping it down or doing really anything with it. I'm showing you how the back looks. From the back, it looks okay. It looks like, oh, nice and even, but it's not at all. So I did go into it and start cutting. Now this is the part where it got tricky because unlike last time when I did my big chop, I really wanted to focus on my hair. So a lot of the times you could not see what I was cutting. So I really do apologize for that. But the next time I need to trim, I'll make sure I'll get somebody to help me film it so you can actually see what I'm doing. I started out at the bottom of each section and worked my way up towards the crown. I was looking to see if I actually saw knots at the end of my hair or if I could see any noticeable difference in the ends, but I really couldn't, so I just started cutting. I did a 90 degree cut all the way around. I still feel like I could take more off, so I'll probably have to do one of these videos again really soon. Now, when I turned around and looked at the back, I felt like I saw some thinning. Now, I don't know if it was just the way that my hair is cut. I don't know if it's just that's how my hair grows, but that was a big issue I had when my hair was relaxed. So I definitely want to make sure to document this. I keep an eye out for it. This was my first time putting heat on my hair in over a year and my first time doing it since I've been natural. So I can go in and cut the mistakes I made when I did my big chop. That's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video.